Tom asks, how do you girls get hooked up with Jake Udell? How big of an influence has it had on your career? High school? Yep. I graduated with Jake Udell. Jake was in my set. What was it? Which science class? Was it biology? I can't remember that. I was All I know is I got said. a D. I got a D. <laughs> <laughs> um, and Jake, you were actually, if you want to talk about your music career, you were pursuing being an artist then. I was at awful the time. At, like the worst. What yeah, you, DJ Khaled, what, DJ what, Drama actually posted my just, Why didn't you just put in 10,000 hours? I did, I did. I did. <laughs> so here's the thing, I gave up on my 10,000 hours as a musician, and my second Because you didn't have the talent. Okay, I'm with that. But oh, oh, Jake has this swag. Like, See, here's the thing. Yeah. I, I mean, yeah, Look I made a me. pivot and said, okay. Because you were smart. <laughs> because not everybody can do everything. Here's the thing, I actually in 10, believe, hours. I believe if you put in the 10,000 hours, it can happen. Like, no, no, I'm not saying you could be at performing at the Grammys, but you can, it's possible to have a hit record. I believe that that can happen because okay. a lot of the, yeah. Anything can happen, well, but it doesn't consistently happen. Like, like to me, that's the point, which is like, I'm just... Well, that's what was so fascinating about what Malcolm said, though. Malcolm said he couldn't find people that had put in the 10,000 hours that had it made. Of course, because their stories weren't known, but it was, it was, he was trying to find them, and he couldn't find them. I mean, how many hours did you put into rapping? Oh, my gosh. Exactly. The bottom line not, is... Not 10,000, though. Not even close. But, like, that's yeah. impossible. Like, if you suck shit at something and you put in 10,000 hours, you're not going to become one of the greats right. at it. Yeah, I was a better marketer. I mean, there's enormous amounts of kids that play, every single kid that tried to become a professional athlete that didn't become a professional athlete, which is almost everybody, put in all the hours from first grade to senior year and didn't make it. 10,000 though. I mean, that's, that's the thing, when you look at this, when you say about like, I don't even know what the math on 10,000 hours is. What did is I spend 10,000 hours for my rap career or was I 10,000 hours in the studio? I was definitely not 10,000 hours in the studio like trying to be the best rapper. Nobody will, I love Malcolm. Nobody can convince me that like, if that was true, yeah. then we should tell every six-year-old right now, spend every minute of your time on the number one thing that you want to be, and you will become that. And that is absolute bullshit. I, I think that that's absolutely true. So you think if I take yes. a first grader right now and say, you're going to become a world-class surfer. If and he they, wants to be. It, what, yeah. If he or she wants to be, then you think they'll become a world-class surfer. Uh, it's so tough. I, I think they'll find their career in surfing. And I think that that's a, that's a logical, like, great decision for that six-year-old. And you're saying that because you found your career in the music industry. Yeah. Whether or yeah. not you were trying to yeah, be well, a manager The thing is, so that guy before, the first question he was asking about, like, Nobody his career Nobody wants to be a producer. manager when they want to be the star. I do. No, now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. When you were, when you were 11. Like, well, they, I believed in them more than I believed in myself. So that was uh, the turning that, point. Because they had talent. Yeah. Uh, I, think that, I think that that's <laughs> the point. I, I do, no, I really mean that. Because you have to understand where I'm coming from and where my energy is coming from. Right now, we're living through the greatest era of fake entrepreneurs ever. Mm -hmm. Every single person that is under 25 is coming out of school and they're like, I'm an app founder. I'm sure you talk to these people. <laughs> well, everybody's sure. a fucking entrepreneur. And they just think because they've said it and they're going to put in the time and effort, like that automatically makes them a successful entrepreneur and that's just and that's the key which is you can be anything do I believe if I put in 10,000 hours into surfing that I'd be a good surfer I sure do do I think I could win the competitions they have in Hawaii no I do not I think there's a secondary thing that has to happen like look at the NBA like you you mentioned Adele what about the 12th man on the heat Right? He's one of the best 300 basketball players in the world, but you know, like, and he's made it. But what about the person right after that? The person in the D League that's making tens of thousands of dollars? That guy is literally one of the 500 best basketball players in the world, but hasn't won, hasn't made it by that Malcolm categorization. And then you have just millions of people. There's millions of people that are trying to make EDM and hip hop music right this second. And so many of them can't succeed in the marketplace because the talent is a variable. Mm. I really do believe that. Mm -hmm. Like I just don't see how one doesn't understand that. There's so many people that want it. There's so many people that put in those hours in so many things, especially in music and sports, which are very high glossy, exciting things to be in society. Like, I don't know, I'm fascinated by the talent conversation because I think it's a dangerous conversation because the, the, I was picking and prodding the reason I'm in a good mood is you're talking a lot more now about self-awareness 
I think a lot of kids right now are getting eighth place trophies mm -hmm. and they think they're good enough and then the world hits them in the face and that's why we have so much depression and other things that people don't, everybody wants a rah-rah, everybody that you can do it. Nobody understands that when they don't do it, what happens to that kid's psyche? Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I think part of being a successful young person is you get the opportunity to make those pivots. You get the opportunity to say, okay, I'm in eighth place, maybe I should become a coach, maybe I should change yes, my career but when, direction. when you were getting the direction that you can still do it, you can still do it, when so few can, then you start getting into a place where we're selling a bill of goods to the youth that isn't true, and you start dealing with what I think the mental health issues that are not being talked about, where everybody all of a sudden, after 50 years of prosperity in America, thinks that they're gonna become Adele and LeBron, and they don't, and then they're baffled. And they, do, you, yeah. do you think that when you talk about like the 10,000 uh, hour rule, that the people that are making it, it, do you think part of that the equation is perseverance though? Because so, you could maybe, like you, you should have heard the songs we wrote back in the day. And like you would tell, we still write to this day. And I could have yes. said, I could have yes. checked out and said, hey, I, I, just I don't think have it's a reverse time. thing. I don't think there's a single person that's successful that didn't put in the hard work, which is the reverse of the conversation. I just don't think if you put in the hard work, you can necessarily be successful. There's nobody that's achieved what you've achieved or what I've achieved that got there by accident and didn't put in the work. How many entrepreneurs or talented people have you met that have put in the level of work that you've put in to what you do to create all of this amazing office, by the way, that haven't made it at a significant level? I don't, I don't know any. First of all, nobody works 18 hours a day like I do, but <laughs> um, the, the punchline is I know a lot of kids that have been hustling for the last six or seven years trying to build and are on their third business and they're never gonna make it. A lot. Because they're schlemiels. They don't have it. They're what? <laughs> Schlemiels. They don't have it. They don't have it. It's, it's probably a Yiddish word if I had to really get to the <laughs> core of it. They don't have the skill to be a business person that can make a business successful. The end. They're the kids on American Idol who literally come, think they're Adele, sing, and, and we all laugh. you think they put in the work, though? Because the fact that they're on their third business, a lot of them being schlemiels, is that they're, they're kind of BSers, you, they're not. Wait a minute, let's go, let's go into a different place yeah. real quick. I feel like Are I'm you telling me that talent has no part of the equation of success? Huge. Well, that's what you're saying. Huge. But well, I just want you to know, by talent, definition, talent, I want you, you to rewatch this. You can to achieve talent. I, I truly believe that. And there have been so many people in our in like in our experience who have come around that we've maybe no, met no, no, three, no, no, four no, no. years I understand, ago. I understand. Really come I think people can break through and get better. Do you think everybody can? Do you think no. the majority can? No. Well, then that's no. But I think everybody. I think everybody has a unique talent, though. It might not be music or sports. They have to find it. But part of being a successful twenty-something is understanding how to maneuver in times of, of change and understand that you have to sometimes pivot. And to how be many of those 20 year olds are gonna find success? How many 20 year olds? As many that want to. As many that are studying the same, the same principles and have the same values that you have. Last question before I get really tired. <laughs> I'm burn it. I feel like I'm gonna burn this table down. But I love it, I love it. I love it, I love it because I love, it. I, love it. I love like, first of all, it's so funny because I'm the most optimistic person I know and I feel like I'm Debbie Downer here. <laughs> I, I do think what's scaring me and why I'm talking about it is I think the pendulum's swinging a little bit too much to anybody can make it, everybody can make it, just put in the work. And I'm, I believe in that, but I think that that maximizes what you have. I think the work will maximize what you have. I just don't think everybody has it, especially when you get into art. When you get into music and sports and things of that nature, I think it's a tough challenge. <laughs>